Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my investing videos. Today is Sunday, February the 24th. Market is closed for the weekend, of course. And in this video, I'm uh, going to talk about uh, what I did with my my spread, my option trade that I got going on right now with my, uh, Microsoft. And so let's go ahead and go to the transactions. And so here's what I did right here. Uh, and I did this on Friday. That was two days ago. And I bought to close my 105 call and I spent $594.77. And then I sold to open a 107 call. And uh, this call uh, expires March the 1st. So it still had seven days left on the call. And uh, I just rolled it out one week. And actually, I rolled it up one week. There's a difference between rolling out and rolling up. Uh, I rolled it up. And uh, so I spent $594.77 and then I sold open for $444.22. And so that means that I rolled it up at a debit, which I almost never do. But the reason I did that is two reasons. Uh, the, the first reason is because this here is a three months chart for Microsoft. And uh, you can see that Microsoft over the last couple months or so is in a nice uptrend. So good time to be in a bullish position right now. So that's the first reason I did it. And the 107 level is like right, where is it at? Like right at about here or something. Somewhere around there, right in the middle, 107. And Microsoft currently has just been steadily going up. Uh, let me get rid of this. And so that's the first reason that I rolled it up. And the second reason is because uh, here you can see I did have, I still had a week left on this call. Uh, but let's look at the 105 call and you'll see what I mean here. So let me put in Microsoft and let me go to the option chain. And here are the call options and I have to go in the money. So let me go in the money. And let me go to 105. So there's the 105 right there. And you can see the bid is uh, $6. The ask is 625 So let's say $610, $615 for that call. And so if I were going to add the premium to the strike price, I get one eleven and like 10 cents. And look at where Microsoft closed, one ten and 97 so what does that tell you? That tells you that all of the time value in that call has evaporated. And so it does not make sense to hold on to a call option, even if it has a week left or however long it has, when it has no time value left. Uh, for two reasons. Uh, reason number one, you're not going to make any more money. And reason number two is that the shares could get assigned to you. And even though I have the money to buy the shares if I want to, I don't I don't want to buy the shares. And I certainly don't want to. I have 30000 right there, so I could very easily buy 100 shares of Microsoft. It cost me $11,000, but I don't want to. And also, I don't want Ameritrade to liquidate my long call. So... Uh, when you do spreads, and, and really when you do any option trading, there are two risks that you have to consider. Risk number one, of course, is the risk of losing money. But the second risk is if you're doing spreads, is that you could get exercised. If you're selling to open calls, you could get a sign. And if you're selling to open puts, then, uh, and actually I need to correct myself, uh, I would need to buy the 100 shares just to sell the 100 shares because when you sell open a call option, a call option is a contract to buy. That means somebody else has the right to buy 100 shares of Microsoft from me at $105. And so I'd have to buy the shares and then sell them back. Right. So it doesn't make any sense. And, and that's the second risk is that you always have the risk of your options being exercised. And when the time value disappears, the risk go, it gets higher and higher, especially as it gets close to expiration. So that's the reason why I rolled it out. And I should say I rolled it up. So let me go back to my transactions and I'll finish explaining here. So I almost never do this. I, 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 I think this is the first time in my, that in my memory that I can remember ever rolling up at a debit. Okay. But the reason why I rolled up, again, is because of this right here. Uh, 
Microsoft is in a bull trend. And uh, the worst thing that can happen to me is, of course, it's the same risk as before, is if Microsoft goes all the way back down to where it was. And so my new position here, uh, let me go back to my account, is that I now have this $105 call option that expires on the 8th, and that's two weeks from now. And so I'm basically making a bet that Microsoft is not going to close below $107 a share. Okay, that, that's my bet, and I think it's a safe bet, but if I'm wrong, then that just simply means that I start selling lower strike price calls, and uh, let, let's take a look at at my total net uh, uh, net debit or, or credit that I've got so far, and so what I have to do is I have to add up all the greens and all the reds, and that will tell me where I'm at so let's go ahead and I'm not going to count this this is my 110 call that's an extra call that I bought because Microsoft was going up and I'm not going to count this 111 all I'm going to do is I'm going to count all of those right there and I'm going to count this uh, right there not uh, not yeah that that one I would count so let's add those up so let's see 80 plus 127 would be what 209 and then uh, Let's see here. Uh, do I add this one? Yes, I do. So 209 plus 354, 550, 563. So let's say 560, make the math easy. And then 39, so uh, that'd be 4,600. Uh, hold on. Actually, I don't count that. Sorry. So let's go back to 560. This is my 111 call. We're going to count this. 560 plus 440. Okay, that's easy. So exactly a thousand dollars in the green. Now the red numbers. Let's add those up. So we get uh, five dollars and then three twenty. So that's three twenty-five. And then uh, don't count this one. And that's that's the call or that's the one ten call that I bought. So okay, I lost my place. So three twenty-five plus five ninety-four six. Uh, let's see, uh, 600, 325, so 925 dollars. So that means that I'm up. Set, I still have about 70, 75 dollars of credit. So I did. I was up to about uh, before I did all that. I was up to. Uh, let's see. I actually all I have to do is subtract this new debit. So that would be 440. So uh, 70. So I was up to about $210 in, in debit, so, or I'm sorry, in a credit. And so now I still have $70 of a credit. So what does that mean? That means that if Microsoft does go back down and it goes below 107, then I have $70 and I first opened all of this. I first opened this spread on the 4th of February. Uh, where is it at? Right there. That, that's when I first bought my call and so that's on the 4th of February and so if I were to do a little bit of math and I'm making $70 a month 70 times 12 would be $840 and this is a two-year uh, spread that I'm doing so 840 a year times two so it's about a break even so I'm, I'm paying off my call and that's a good thing and so I'm safe I am investing in Microsoft and uh, one last thing I'll say is that there are two ways to try to make a profit doing spreads the first way which is the way that I like to do is in the premium but the second way is in the intrinsic value and because I am rolling up at a and let me go to my back to my transactions here because I'm rolling up at a debit like if if my premium actually went in the red, if I, like let's say I ended up negative fifty dollars or negative a hundred dollars uh, selling to open these shorts, then that would just mean that I'm trying to make money on the actual intrinsic value. And so because I have, I'm up to 107. If from now until uh, when this 105 expires all the way in January 2021 and Microsoft is above 100, $107 or even at $107 then that's an extra that's $200 in intrinsic value and that'd be a profit that I would make on all of that if I were to continue to get the premium and pay off the call I'd make about $270 
on my $1,600 investment. And uh, return wise, what would that be? 160, that'd be about a 15% return. So we're looking at about a 7% annual return here. And uh, I'll just tell you right now, my target, I want to try to make 30% return this year. So obviously, I have to do something different if I'm going to hit that target. I need to add more calls. And the safest thing, I could have just continued uh, selling to open 105s. And uh, if, I, if we look at the 105s, uh, the 105s, uh, let's see. Let's look at the 105 and see what, what I would have got. Let's go in the money. And uh, where are you at? There you are. So I could have got 600 and whatever dollars. But actually, uh, it, the time that I closed it out, I can tell you I would have got about $20 for the week. And I could have very safely done that. But again, there is a second kind of risk that I have to consider. And that is the risk of the option getting exercised. So that's why I decided to go ahead and roll it up to a 107. I'd much rather deal with the less risk because I like the spread that I'm doing. I like the fact that it's going well for me. And I also like the fact that uh, I'm able to buy more calls and I have all this money on the sidelines in cash. And that's my plan in general. If Microsoft just keeps going up, and right now, if Microsoft does go over 111 between now and before this expires, this 111 call expires on the March the 1st. If Microsoft does go above 111, then I'm going to buy another call, and I'm going to have three calls. So I'm slowly adding to my position, and uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this final thought. You want to buy stocks that are going off. That, I'm sorry, that are going up and you want to sell the stocks that are going down. And in the case of options, you want to buy options, calls on stocks that are going up and you want to unload the calls and maybe going even go into put options on the stocks that are going down. That's the rule that I follow. I don't like the idea of like, let's say Microsoft goes down to $100 and $95. I'm going to buy more calls I'm going to, and I'm going to increase uh, my position my uh, bullish position buy more calls on a stock that's going down it's kind of a contradiction and so uh, as always if you have any questions about what I am doing with my option trading if you want to know more about this strategy it's called the diagonal spread and at some point uh, I'm planning to do a video on the diagonal spread and the way that I trade diagonal spreads, but I talk about it all the time. One thing I can tell you is that if you watch my videos, you are going to get a, a video every time that I do a trade or every time that I make an adjustment to an ongoing spread that I got going on. And that's what this video here is. Uh, I made a, a little slight adjustment. And the reason is, number one, because Microsoft's going up. And number two, I don't want my position to get exercised and all the time value in the 105 call had evaporated and that means it's time to close it out and it's time to move on to something new so thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave in the comments and uh, until then I will see you in the next video and have a good day